Hello friends, Kisani Ji here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look how to integrate a Spring Boot with Hibernate JPA provider. So basically, uh, in this video, uh, this video is about integrating a Spring Boot with Hibernate. Here we will be using a Spring Boot 156 and hence by default it will be Hibernate 5 configurations. We will be creating simple Spring Boot Hibernate example of having some uh, uh, dog class uh, which will basically use the session factory to interact with the database. So let's go ahead and create a project. So here make sure that you are in a Spring uh, perspective and right click over here, go to the new and you get this option, a Spring Starter Project. And here I am going to give the project name as Spring Boot Hibernate Project. And the package name com.infotech.app. Let's group name and package, and I am going to specify the same. Now click on the next and here I am going to select uh, first of all JPA then MySQL that's it. Now click on the next and finally click on the finish. Now project got created, let's go to the pom.xml and here you can see uh, whatever starter project we had selected was uh, added in our class path. So in dependency section you can see that we have added a Spring Boot Starter Data JPA, right? So basically it provides key dependency for Hibernate, a Spring Data JPA and a Spring URI. Uh, here we have added dependency for MySQL because we are going to use uh, database as in MySQL and this is for to write at a genuine test cases and a, a, a Spring Boot also adds a plugin which will help us to generate an executable uh, file and we have added, uh, we have also parent uh, boot starter it provides useful name and defaults it also provide a dependency management section so that you can omit version tax for existing dependency so that's all about this pom.xml now here uh, first of all i'm going to make some entry in the uh, application dot property so here let's uh, sorry guys this property already i have listed over here so i'm going to paste it over here so this this properties is very this, uh, this this is self-explanatory right so we have a given the database url username password i have given so sql true because hibernate has a capability to generate a sql query on the fly so hibernate is an orm tool so everything you work as a object related fashion you are not going to create any kind of sql query yes hibernate gives you privilege to create sql query but we will do most of the things in object related fashion so that tomorrow our database vendor is going to change so nothing will have to change in the source code except configuration file now so so sql that's generated sql query we want to see see on the console eclipse console that's what we made this flag as true uh, ddl auto i have given create so that uh, hibernate will create a database schema database table for us and uh, here we'll have to specify the dialect as i said hibernate has capability to generate sql query on the fly so you will have to tell the dialect class for a specific database so press ctrl shift t and search for the mysql dialect and here you get it in jar file uh, mysql so here is the this class and uh, that comes from the driver jar mysql driver jar so let's uh, 
copy this mysql and this driver name you can paste it over here so now we are done with this right now let's go ahead and create a entity class so now when you work with the hibernate then you require a entity class right so so i'm going to specify this entity class as employee and sorry guys let me put in this different package so what i'll do i'll create in dot entities packet and uh, let's say employee i want to keep these things in separate and let's delete this guy <laughs> And here, this class will have to annotate as add that entity. And this import will happen from the Java X dot persistence. And uh, here, I'm going to add a field like integer ID. And when you design an entity class in Hibernate, then Hibernate is expecting at least these two annotations is mandatory. At class level, we will have to give, uh, give at rate annotation uh, entity, and one of the property will have to declare as primary key. These two annotations is uh, mandatory. Rest of the annotations are optional. So private string name private let's say date d o j uh, sorry d o j date of joining and private double sign that's it this much field i'm gonna add you may add more field if you want now here i'm going to specify as table name if you do not specify table name then hibernate will create a table name as a entity class name so here we want the table name as employee underscore table now let's import it again java x dot persistence now we have to specify column name as well. Column name we are going to specify. Now column name we are going to specify all these properties. Else Hibernate will generate a column uh, as a property name. So here I'm going to specify as ID name. I would say date of joining and I would say salary just like a variable name and here primary key I'm gonna make as auto incremented so we'll have a annotation is called generated value sorry guys my laptop is a little slow generated value and in generated value you can specify strategy if you do not specify any strategy then by default auto will be the default strategy so this will apply the auto increment on these properties now let's create a public getters and setters for this, this fields so i have created setters and getters for these fields designing of entity class is done now let's create a, a one more class it is called package is called util and i would say Hibernate, Hibernate, Util, Config, right? And this class basically will be responsible for creating uh, creating a session factory. So this class will have to annotate as at the rate configuration. And here, so guys, I have written code to create a session factory so here spring boot focuses on using jpa to persist data in relation db and it has the ability to create repository implementation uh, automatically at runtime from a repository interface itself but here we are trying to use uh, hibernate as a jpa provider hence uh, following configuration is required to auto wire session factory and now i'm going to create uh dog class i said employee dog and 
here uh, this class I'm going to annotate it as active repository. And here let's create a API is called public wide create employee which basically will take employee as an argument. And here basically I'm going to auto wire my session factory, which is required when you work with high net. And let's auto wire this guy. And this session factory I'm gonna use over here. Let's say we have a try catch. Now here I'm going to declare a session and uh, here I get a session from session factory. Just let's open a, a one session from session factory and the way we used to open the session factory by calling the open session method and once we get the session we will have to begin the transaction because we want to make some changes on the database side and again we'll do session dot get transaction dot commit and between this we have a session and session is having a method is called save here we'll uh, save our employee employee entity in our database and this will basically return uh integer which is an id so Let's type class into integer and we'll print one message employee is created with ID and here in the ID. Okay. Now uh, we are done creating with our repository class now uh, I'll go to the my uh, bootstrap class and here I'm going to auto wire my uh, employee top so that we can make use of over here and here I will auto wire this guy and let's this class implements command line runner Command line runner and let's add this run method. Now you can see in the run method, I'm calling uh, get employee, which is a local method which basically returns the employee instance. And we have initialized its property and we are calling uh, dog method to create uh, an employee in the database. So let's run it. This is going to create database table for us. And this will insert a single record into the database as well. So you can see uh, Hibernate has created a table first and then inserting a record and this message got printed over here. If you go to here and refresh the database, then you can see one table has been created in this uh, database and one record is inserted. So I hope you enjoyed learning this video. Here just I have shown you how to perform the create operation. So the rest of the I mean current operation, remaining operation like uh, re delete. Uh, read uh, uh, and update operation you can try yourself so here just we have focused on how to integrate a spring with uh, a spring boot with hibernate so we'll have a separate set of videos uh, and there we will see in depth videos on hibernate itself so thanks for watching this video and this code you'll get on the github and github location you'll, uh, you'll find in the video description part itself so thank you so much for watching this video and see you next video